Oh, it's Simon. Okay, this is a bit of a test flight on a number of levels. I've uh, updated the ZYX firmware to 3.5 and uh, done a little bit of work on the tail. And I've also moved the uh, gyro onto a shelf inside the frame, so I've had to drill the carbon fibre frame. This is my HK450 GT, which is an Line V2 clone. Fly ballast with the Taro ZYX, so uh, let's see how we go. I can tell you straight away the controls are a little different. It's uh, definitely a little smoother. Now what I've done, I've gone for the stock 3D, soft 3D settings, except adjusted the D gain on the rolling pitch down to 10 as per David that's been flying an RC group's recommendations. So, uh, right, well, that all seems smooth enough. It does, alas, fly. <laughs> it's got 40 as a dead band at the moment. It is a standard, and I can tell you that they've sorted out the smooth movements. Uh, the, the slight movements now uh, rather than jerk as the dead band is breached now it's smooth I'm just rocking the elevator backwards and forwards there let's try the rudder and again we've got the smooth the slow movements on the rudder now which we hadn't before so that's an improvement right what else have they improved pillows let's have a look apparently they've improved the pir pirouette routine yes they have that's load better. I can't remember whether I went right or left then, so... Okay, that was me just being clumsy. Oh, that's so much better. And the tail stops are better as well. Oh, that's great. Oh well, let's try a flip. Can't argue with that, can we? Let's try another one. Oh, we just got in the descending vortex then. Uh, it's hard to argue with that. It's got quite a strong left to right crosswind, so the eagle eyed will no doubt be able to see that. The roll will carry to the white right because of the wind. Just do another roll because that wasn't very good. Yeah, tidy, no shakes, no nothing. Okay, let's go for a bit of a flight. I'd like to apologise to my pals on RC Universe for going quiet on you. Just been busy, had a couple of away days this week and uh, also had to squash four days work into two. Uh-oh. Okay. It flipped then. I got a lads. Something's very wrong. Oh! Instead of throttle cut, I managed to get the rudder. Just as well I managed to save it, really. Now, what happened there? We had a sudden pitch up. Nose up. Hmm. Oh well, just let me recover it out of the long grass. Well, does that count as 3D flight, chaps? Right, I was just going to show you what I've done. So yes, we've now got the uh, gyro neatly installed on a tray uh, rather than on the side of the frame. I've uh, put new bushings in the uh, tail 
linkages between the grips and the uh, slider and it's much tighter and uh, upgraded to 3.5 and something went horribly wrong there so I'm just going to have a look at it and uh, try again in a moment thanks for watching